Today we're going to look at getting started with Telerix Rad Rich Text Box, part of Telerix Rad Controls for Windows Forms Control Suite. In this video, we're going to see what it takes to get started with the Rad Rich Text Box. The Rad Rich Text Box Control offers broad editing and formatting capabilities with true word-like experience. You can load XAML, HTML, DOCX, RTF, or plain text documents into the WinForms Rich Text Box Control. Each of these formats will allow you to edit and format the document, which can then be exported to and saved as any of the above mentioned support formats, also including PDF. Red Rich Text Box can also be used with Red Ribbon Bar for Windows Forms to give an office-like style to your WinForms application. Also included is spell checking, multi-region selection, and editing, and much, much more. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to use the Rad Rich text box in Visual Studio 2010. Okay, so we're now in Visual Studio 2010. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply go File, New Project. I have selected Rad Controls Windows Forms application, and I'm just going to give this a name. Now that I've given this a name, I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see that our project configuration wizard begins. So the control that I need, that I would like to use today, is going to be the rich text box. So I place a check in that, and it automatically goes ahead and it adds the required references that this project is going to need in order to use the rich text box. At this point, I can go ahead and hit finish. Now once I've hit finished, you'll see a couple of things have changed. Over here in references, we now have a couple of Telerik.win controls, DLLs added to the project. But if I double click on my form one, we'll see now that inside of our toolbox, we have several new controls that are available for us to use. As you can scroll up and down this list here, you can see RAD controls for wind forms, menus and toolbars, schedulers, editors, and others. But what we're going to need is actually going to be down here a little bit closer towards the bottom. And that is actually the RAD ribbon bar. So I'm going to select the RAD ribbon bar and I want to drop it onto my application here. So the reason that I'm starting with the rad ribbon bar is that I'm going to be using the rich text box control and I would like to be able to do things like um, bolding, italics, and underlining and other things very easily. And a ribbon bar is going to be pretty much the easiest way for my user to be able to do that. Okay, now that we have our rad ribbon bar added, we're going to add a couple of tabs here. So the first one I'm going to add in is just going to be an edit. And then we can add in maybe a format. And then finally, we may want something like insert. If we click over on the format tab, we're going to add a couple of groups here. I'm going to add one called font. I'm going to add another one here called Paragraph. And then finally, I'm just going to add one called Providers. This is just to kind of illustrate uh, some of the things that you may want to add if you're using the Rad Rich text box. So, okay, so now I'm going to add in a couple of things that you may want to do with the font. So I'm going to click Add horizontal button group and now once I've added the horizontal button group I'm going to click add and we're going to do a button element and the first one we're just going to do italic and we may want a second button and in our second button we're going to do something and maybe we'll just add in bold here as well so we have two items listed in and of course you can make this pictures as well I'm just using text for the sake of a demo and we'll click over on providers and we'll add a provider in here as well so I've added a horizontal button group 
and inside of that I'm ed editing my elements and I'm going to put in document in this box. Finally I hit OK. So now that we have that in place uh, what we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to actually add in our rich text box. So now that we have that in place as you might have guessed it's time to add in our rad rich text box. So as you see here you can scroll to where it says rad controls for WinForm editors and you're going to want to select the rad rich text box. Okay so I've resized my rad rich text box so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add just a little bit of code in here for each of these buttons. So I can click on italic I can click on our events and then I can double click and we have an event one and this code is going to be as simple as rad rich textbox one dot toggle italic we can come back to our second button which is our bulb double click on the click event and we'll do rad rich text box one dot toggle bold and we'll come back to our providers button and double click on that click event as well and we'll just drop in a code snippet here so I've just pasted in a code snippet. I'm going to go ahead and resolve a few of these namespaces real quick. And let's resolve this one. And of course, let's add our stream in. So in this button, basically we're going to export to docx the contents of the rad rich text box one dot document. And as you can see here, we're using the docx format provider. You could use the XAML provider as well and a couple of the others as I list, listed earlier in the beginning of this demo. And then we have our save file dialog and it will actually export our document out using provider.export. Let's go ahead and run the application and take a look at this control in action. So we just started the application. I'm going to type in This is Telerik's rad rich text box. I can double click on Telerik. I can hit italic. I could also come back up here and toggle that italic. I could put bold. This is Telerik's rad rich text box. And as you see from here, we can now go ahead and hit doc. Once we hit doc, it's asking us where do we want to save this document. For the sake of this demo, we'll just in, drop it right here in Documents, and I'll name this Telerik Rad Rich Text Box Demo dot docx and hit Save, and we see that it has saved successfully. I can pull up my Documents folder, and if I scroll down here, I can see our Telerik Rad Rich text box demo. I want to thank you for watching Getting Started with Rad Rich text box. Be sure to check out tv.telerik.com for more videos and feel free to give it a try now by downloading the demo at telerik.com. Thank you.